Hi everyone, my name is Ian Santa Maria and I'm a senior concept artist with the Lego Group. And today, we are going to talk about how to make your own comic book page. And what we want to do is start with an establishing shot. Zane here, jumping into the fray with that classic one leg superhero jump. One of our ninjas is after maybe one of the bone warriors who has stolen his sword. And it's always nice to have your references right in front of you. So we read the images from left to right. We start in a very dynamic fashion. It's right into the action. Always helps if you add sound effects while you draw. And you might notice that I am adding some block shading in some parts. It actually helps with the separation of one subject from the other. That adds a visual sound effect. Doo, doo, doo. Stuff like that. Boom. Explode from outside the panel. Adds a lot more dynamism to it. So we finished our first panel. This is our establishing action shot. For the next panel, this is what we call a reaction shot. I'm going to leave this area open a bit and uh, later on I'll show you why. And sometimes lines like these, they just signify visual exclamation points like ah! So what's gonna happen now in the third one is sort of like a reveal panel. We're gonna share a panel. I'm imagining this now as one panoramic shot that's split in the middle. Always helps to have a ruler. Lightly draw that perspective in. You're noticing that I'm drawing on this panel, but I'm going to overlap it here on the other side. And this is our bone warrior on the bike. This same bike is the same thing that I'm drawing on this page, even though proportions aren't the same. And that's always okay. Little bits and pieces of debris falling out from the back. You know, when you see comic books with these motion lines, it usually just means the subject they're drawing has some sort of motion. So we're moving to the fourth panel. This is, uh, well, for me at the very least, is the exciting part because uh, we're going to get to draw this guy. Remember when I said I was trying to keep the area of the second panel here pretty clear. Now you're going to see why. It's a great big reveal shot. Each comic book page, I think, should have that visual exclamation point. And we go to our corrective pen, and we're gonna erase those panel lines. We can have that really cool effect of this dragon's head popping out of the panel. And then let's have our dragon showing off his teeth. Thick lines will always help separate the images from one another so even though I'm not drawing the dragon exactly how it should be it is very much influenced by the dragon that we have here on our table so one thing is actually happening in two panels we have that bike jumping in our fourth panel but we have a giant dragon right there blocking his way okay and we're moving on to panel five so if you notice that uh, I'm drawing our bone warrior facing the other way. So visually, in that story, I am trying to convey that he is moving away from what he saw on the right. So this will make things easier for the reader. So as our bad guy turns around, what does he do? He leaves the sword behind. What happens now in panel six? Our bone warrior just let go of his sword. That was maybe what Zane was after in the beginning. Speed lines always help with that punctuation. So I would like to have our little ninja with a little bit of dialogue right here. So I'm thinking maybe the word balloon falls on the lower left. A little bit of detailing, a little bit of shading for some contrast. Maybe a little bit of smoke in the background. And then he says, yeah, you better run. There you have it. A simple story in a single comic book page. Thank you for joining us today. We had so much fun sharing what we know with you. And remember, it's never too late to learn something new. Be Ninja.